Hello, everyone. Hello, good evening. Hello. Hey, good evening. How are you? Welcome to one more class. We have Luz Garcia, Jensi, Jessica, Franco, Jessica Esmeralda. Hello, good evening. Hey, good evening. We also have, yes, we have Joaquin. We have Jessica Vanessa with us. Miguel Antonio. Welcome, guys. You ready to continue? Ready. Ready, as always. Excellent. Kevin, welcome. Welcome to your class. Good evening. Let's continue Good then. Good evening. Welcome, Juan Antonio. Welcome to one more class. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. All right. We are going to continue here. <clears throat> Remember yesterday, we were studying about the colors, right? And we saw also about the conversation. We saw different colors of clothes, and you describe also those clothes. Now, let's continue here with another topic. And this one is about possessives. But the third one is about possessive adjectives. So what are possessive adjectives? Well, these ones. No, they have a it's a word that tells us who or what on something. So basically, Dylan, cállese y déjeme eso ahí. Me ayudan con el audio, por ti. Hello, hello, good evening, welcome. Okay, so possessive adjectives. We were saying that is a word who tells us who or what on something. So you are expressing possession. You have possessions. Now, remember that we have studied some of them, right? So if you have, you have, for example, depending on the person or the subject pronoun that you have. If you have, for example, the personal pronoun I, I can use a possessive with my, that's possessive adjective, my. If you use you, then you have your. For he, is, she, her, it, its, we, our, you, your, they, their. So you express possession, right? All of these ones. Now, let's have some examples here. As possessive adjectives, you see, possession that I have, say, my, this is my sister, right? What is the possessive adjective, Juan Antonio? What is the possessive adjective in this example? My. My, excellent, that's good, my. great, excellent, thank you. Now let's see, Miguel Antonio, you have your, in the example is wash your hands. What is the possessive adjective? Your. Your, perfect, that's good. Okay, now we're going to read the example. Luz Garcia, read the next one. This is his car, repeat. Luz Garcia, are you present? <laughs> Uh, this is his car. This is his car. Yes, that's very good. Okay, good one. Now let's see. Veronica. Welcome, Veronica. His <coughs> teeth are very sharp. Which one? Okay, this one, this one with her. This is her pencil. This is her pencil. Excellent. That's correct. Good one. Kevin, let's continue. Its teeth are very sharp. Its teeth are very sharp. That's good. Remember that this it is referring to a possession of something, right? Es un posesivo de algo o de alguien. 
en este caso sí. son los dientes de, de un perrito, pueden ser de, de un tiburón, de un animal. ¿verdad? Eso es, sus dientes son muy afilados. Mm -hmm. possessive, yeah? good. Jessica Vanessa, with the possessive adjective our, this is our house. Repeat. This is our house. Very good job. Nice. Sandra Marisol, let's repeat. Is that your wallet? Is that your wallet? Is that your wallet? Is that your wallet? All right. Thank you. Jessica Franco, continue. Their house is near the city. Okay. Their house is near the city. Their house is near the city. Their house is near the city. Very good job. That's nice. Okay. Do you have questions with these ones? With possessive adjectives? So it's like, my sister, mi hermana, right? Wash your hands. Lava tus manos. So they are always together. Un possessive adjective. Siempre va junto con la posesión o con la relación si menciona a una persona. En el caso de acá, ¿verdad? Sister, no lo podemos identificar como posesión porque no es una cosa, pero es una relación. Porque mantenemos interacción con las personas, de comunicación, ¿verdad? Right? We have communication. My sister, your hands, his car, her pencil, it's still, our house, your wallet, their house. So they are possessive. Do you express a possession for? Now, let's have other examples here. Possessive adjectives. These are other forms. When you express a possession, it's like this. You have, I have a shirt. Yo tengo una camiseta. Podemos decirlo así, pero también podemos utilizar un adjetivo possessivo. Say, I have a shirt. Pero en otras palabras, we can say, my shirt is green. It's more information. It's más información. My shirt is green. Okay, now we're going to repeat it. Joaquin, repeat this one, please. I have a shirt. I have a shirt. I have a shirt. I have a shirt. Very good. Okay, now repeat this one. My shirt is green. My shirt is greeny. Excellent. Thank you. Gen C, let's continue. You have a book. You have, you have a book. You have a book. That's good. Now continue here. Your book is new. Your book is new. Thank you. That's good. Let's see. Jessica Esmeralda, continue here. He has a pillow. Luis Garcia, let's continue. He has a pillow. He has a pillow. Very good. Now here, his pillow is soft. His pillow is soft. Right, thank you. Miguel Antonio, she has a dog. She has a dog. Excellent. Her dog is small. Her dog is a small. Very nice. Thank you. Kevin, it has a bone. It has a bone. Its bone is old. Its bone is old. Very good job. Yes. Juan Antonio, continue. We have a bird. We have a bird. Nice. Our bird we is have a noisy. Pillow. Very good. Our bird is noisy. Our bird is noisy. Very really good job. Nice. What is noisy? Our bird is noisy. Excellent. That's good. What is noisy, guys? Ruidoso. I don't know what to say. Ruidoso. That's noisy. Ruidoso. Bullesto, we say here in El Salvador. <laughs> That's noisy. Veronica, let's continue. You have a house. You have a house. Excellent. Your house is big. Your house is big. 
Really good job. Thank you. Okay. Those are possessive forms. We also have the case of possessive like this. We're going to do this exercise. Let's work on this. We have these pictures. And let's include this. For example, it says, this is Ben. This is, and what is the correct possessive adjective? Your. Imagine that is the possession of Ben. Es posesión de Ben. Es su pelota. Es de él. Uh, so yes. What is, he's perfect. Excellent job. That's good. What about Bill? He says, this is Bill. This is? His. What is the his, his again. iPad. Excellent. That's correct. This is his iPad. Correct. Now, let's see this one. This is Tom. This is his. Again, his is a possession of his. That's good. Excellent. Now, let's see this one. These children are playing. These are? They are. Excellent. That's perfect. Now, it's a possession of they. Right? It's a plural. That's correct. There. These are they toys. These dogs are playing. This is it. Are you sure? Look, because it's two dogs. It's plural. It. No. Fuera it, si fuera nada más un perrito. Your. There, correct. Ese there ah, va, va a funcionar there. igual en general, ya sea para animales, personas, cosas, en general. Siempre que sea plural, es generalizado. Ahora, si fuera solo para un animal, entonces sí es solo it, solo para singular. So it's there, it's there. This is their ball. This is a snowman. This it. is... It's excellent, yes, because the snowman is something, right? That's I see, porque es singular, ¿verdad? It's singular, perfect. That is correct. Excellent job. That's good. Okay. Questions about this? No questions? No questions? No. No, no questions. Okay. Recordemos acá que siempre el possessive adjective va a ir antes de la posesión o antes de la relación, si menciona una persona. So that's very important to remember. It. Now, let's check here. We have also the case of this one. Now, let's check. Let's complete. They are twins. If they are twins, they possess something. They possess the names. So, what is the possessive adjective? They. They are, porque es de ellos. They are, sí. They are, correct. Their names are Tom and Philip. Excellent. That's a good one. The next one. Where's Carol? She is in? Her. Excellent, that's good. It's a possessive of she. Perfect. In her room. Great. Now the next one. It is my dog and and it. That's great. And its name is Barty. That's great job. That's really nice. Now let's check the rest. That we have here. We have other types of possessive, and there are different manners to express possession. This is another case. The previous were possessive adjectives, but these ones are possessive pronouns. The possessive pronouns they have a different position. Estos tienen una posición diferente. Y se utilizan para omitir la repetición de la posesión. But look at here, they are different. Is for example, if you use uh, for every subject, van siempre por cada sujeto. If you use the subjects, for example, let me check if we have another one here.
We're going to check this one. All right, for example, here. Put this one here. So they depend on the subject that they have, like here. If you use the subject I, then the possessive pronoun is mine. So mine, that means me, ya no sería me, like my house, a possessive adjective, it will be mine, or I, mine. For example, the shirt is mine. La camiseta es mía. Si nos fijamos en una diferente, diferente posición. Let's check here. The shirt is the possession. And the possessive pronoun is mine. We're going to continue. Veronica, can you read the next one, please? Veronica, are you present? Present. Yes, okay. For the subject, you. The possessive pronoun is yours. Now let's read the example. It says, the book is yours. The book is yours. That's good. It's el libro es tuyo. Yes, that's all right. Okay, let's continue with the next one. Let's see. Miguel Antonio. The so for the subject he, my possessive pronoun is his. The pillow is his. The pillow is his. That's good. So it's suya, pero de él, right? So they have a different position. What is the possession? ¿Cuál es la posesión acá? His. Ah, oh, la posesión. The possession, the possession. <coughs> the pillow, right? Pillow, pillow. Pillow, que es la almohada. Uh -huh. So that is the possession. And what is the possessive pronoun? His. His. He's perfect, that's correct. Thank you, let's see, Rene. Welcome, Rene. Now we have the subject, she. Thank you. She? The subject is she and the possessive pronoun is hers. So, so you, pero de ella. Hers. So the example is, the dog is hers. Repeat it. The dog is, the dog is hers. Hers, that's correct. What is the possession? In the exam, dog. dog, perfect. Look, en el caso de las mascotas, estos pueden eh, identificarse tanto como posesión o como una relación, ya que nosotros interactuamos con las mascotas, nos comunicamos con ellos. Todo depende de nosotros, ¿verdad? Porque muchas veces los consideramos como parte de, de la familia. Let's see another one. In the subject, it... It's not very common to use it. It's, no es muy común utilizarlo para un possessive pronoun. De manera informal, sí se utiliza, pero gramaticalmente no es formal utilizarlo. Por eso se utiliza el possessive adjective, like it's born, it's food, it's toys. Let's continue with the next one. Luz Garcia. Now, with the subject, the next part, we have we. For the subject we, we have possessive pronoun ours. The bird is ours. Repeat. The bird is ours. Excellent. What is the possession in the example? A bird. Bird, excellent. And the possessive pronoun? Ours. Ours, that's correct. Good one. Okay, let's see the next one. For the subject you as the plural, because remember we have two types of you. One you is for singular and the other you is for the plural. So for you, you have yours. Let's continue. Jessica Franco, the house is yours. The house is yours. Excellent. What is the possession? House. House, perfect. And the possessive pronoun? Yours. Very good, that's nice. Okay, now let's see with the other subject. 
with the other subject you have they right they were is missing here so we have they and for this subject the possessive pronoun is theirs for example the car is theirs the car is theirs jessica rivas let's repeat it please Jessica Rivas. Jessica? The car, see? the car is theirs. Is theirs. That's correct. Good one. Okay. So this one is now tell me what is the possession? Car. Car, exactly. And the possessive adjective? Theirs. Theirs, that's correct. So observe that they have different position. Tienen una diferente posición al adjetivo posesivo. Ya que la posesión acá en, en el posesivo eh, pronoun se menciona antes del posesivo pronoun para omitir repetición. Sería así. No es necesario decir, eh, for example, like this. The shirt is my shirt. La camiseta es mi camiseta. O sea, no es necesario la repetición. Por eso este de acá es un pronoun porque me sustituye al nombre del que yo estoy hablando. En este caso es de la posesión o la relación. The shirt is mine. The book is yours. The pillow is his. The dog is hers. The bird is ours. The house is yours. The car is theirs. Now, we have some questions here. We formulate these ones. As a yes, no question. Remember this, we confirm if it's affirmative or the negative. We have, is this your jacket? Is this your jacket? No, it's not mine. Now, what is the possession here? What's the possession? Kevin, what's the possession? Jacket. Jacket, that's correct. Now, in the answer, it says, no, it's not mine. What is the possessive pronoun? Mine. Mine, perfect. So look at here, you have mine, correct. Is not necessary? No, it's not my jacket. Yes, sí es correcto mencionarlo, pero ya lo tenemos en la pregunta. Entonces, para omitir esa repetición, se puede utilizar un possessive pronoun. Now, let's see the next one. Jensi Alexandra. Let's read the question, please. It's, are this Carla's shoes? Uh, Carla's shoes? Uh -huh. The answer, no, they aren't hers. No, they aren't hers. Very good. Okay, in the answer, in the respuesta, in the answer, estamos utilizando un possessive adjective or possessive pronoun? Okay. ¿Qué tipo de posesivo estamos utilizando en la respuesta? ¿Es un possessive adjective o possessive pronoun? Um, pronoun. Pronoun. Ajá, es pronoun. Porque aquí ya no repetimos la posesión. Ya no es necesario decir, no, they aren't Carla's shoes. O no, they aren't her shoes. No, they aren't hers. No, no son de ella, no son suyos. Right? Yeah, that's correct. Good one. Veronica, let's continue. Are those their t-shirts? Are those their t-shirts? 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 T-shirts. Very good one. The answer, no, they're not their t-shirts. No, they're not their t-shirts. T-shirts. But? T-shirts. But? But? This but shirt, these shoes are theirs. These shoes are theirs. That's correct. So the question is, ¿son estos? ¿Son, el, son esas sus camisas o camisetas? No, no son sus camisetas. Pero estos zapatos son de ellos o de ellas. O sea, que es plural, pues puede ser ellos o ellas. Good one. Well, let's continue then. Brenda. Brenda Quintanilla, let's continue here. Now, this is another type of question, right? Because here you investigate affirmative or negative, but here it's a specific. 
Whose score is this? The king is testifying. It's specific, right? You investigate the person. Whose score is this? Brenda, repeat it, please. Whose score is this? Whose score is this? Whose score is this? Whose score is this? Is this? Is this? Is this? Yes. We have two possibilities. We can say it's my score or it's mine. It's my score or it's mine. It's my. Is my skirt? Is my skirt? It's mine. Is my skirt? Is mine. Very good. Two possibilities. Hay dos posibilidades. It's acá. mine. Ajá, good. So, acá usamos, en la primera respuesta, estamos utilizando un possessive adjective, ya que menciona la posesión. Es mi falda. It's my skirt. Y la otra opción sería, it's mine. Es mía. So you see, it's two possibilities. The two forms are correct. Rene, continue, please. Repeat the question. Whose glasses are those? Whose glasses are those? Excellent. They're yours. They're, they're yours. 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 Very good. What is the possession here? What is the, what is the possession? Glasses. Glasses, excellent. Okay, in the answer, this is a possessive adjective or possessive pronoun? Espera, mira, te cantes. Me dijo la pregunta. Ajá, in the answer, yours is a possessive adjective or possessive pronoun? Possessive pronoun. Ajá. Possessive pronoun, yes. That yes. is correct. Right. Excellent. That's good. Thank you. Let's continue then. Loida, are you present, Loida? Present, Loida? teacher. Hello, hello, welcome. Now let's read the other question. It says, whose watch is that? Eh, tendría que contestar hace un momentito, me acabo de conectar. Ah, okay. No, just repeat it. Repeat it. Ah, Whose okay. watch is that? Whose watch is that? Whose watch is that? Whose what? What? Watch is that? Good. That is. De quién es ese reloj? Whose watch is that? And the answer. It's Jenny's watch. It's Jenny what? It's Jenny's watch. What? That's good. ¿De quién es el reloj? It's Jenny. Jenny, ajá, correcto. Es de Jenny. That's good. So tenemos esta posibilidad de mencionar el dueño, el nombre específico del dueño, right, de la posesión. O tenemos, por ejemplo, decir, it's hers. Es de ella. It's hers. So there are two possibilities, right, that you can use. Gracias. Wow. Thank you. Okay, now we are going to watch a video. This one is referring to the possessives, as possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns. But first we're going to pass the list, guys. Just let me know if you are present. I'm going to check the list. All right, let's see. Alicia Maribel. Alicia? No? Okay, let's see. Angelica Maria. Angelica Maria. Not present. Brenda Marcela. Present. Thank you. Carlos Arturo. Present. Thank you. Jessica Saraí. Present. Thank you. Joaquín Jesús. Present. Thank you. Juan Antonio. Present. Thank you. Catherine Rebecca. Present. 
Thank you. Kevin Orlando? Present. Thank you. Loida Citali? Present, Loida. teacher. Thank you so much. Luis Antonio? Luis Antonio? No presence, Luis? Luz Margel? Present. Thank you. Marvin Manuel? Marvin Manuel? Maria Inés? Maria Inés? Miguel Antonio? Miguel Antonio? Oscar Esaú? Present. Thank you. Reina Isabel? Reina Isabel? René Alfonso? Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Sandra Llegué Marisa. a tiempo. Yes, you were on time. On time. <ríe> ok. Sí, no me iba a conectar ahora porque es que vengo llegando de trabajar y se me hacía ah, tarde para hacer algunas cosas. Pero gracias okay. a Dios, pues aquí está ido. Very good. No problem. Very good. Thank you. Gracias. Sandra Marisol. Present. Thank you so much. Verónica Marisela. Present. Thank you. Very good. Yancy Yamilet. Yancy Yamilet. Yancy Alexandra. Thank you so much. Jessica Esmeralda. Disculpa, licenciada. Hello. Present. Jessica Rice. Present. Okay, very good. Jessica Rivas. Present. Very good. Thank you very much, guys. Okay, let's continue then with our class. Teacher, buenas noches. Hello, hello. good evening. Eh, estos días yeah. atrás sí he estado, yes. con... he estado conectada, pero he estado mm -hmm. como escucha nada más. Ah, sí, perfecto, le di el mensaje. Uh -huh. Solo que ahora como no me, no me puso el mensaje, creí que sí la iba a recibir. No solo de oyente, va a estar ahora también solo de oyente. Sí, así es. Ah, ok. Ok, thank you, thank you, Jessica. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, let's play the video then. We're going to watch it. This one is about the possesses. For example, if you notice the conversation. Hi, everyone. In this class. Can you hear it? Say oye. Yes. Yes, yes. Hi, everyone. Thank you. In order to describe the long end of things, if you recall the conversation, it's a disaster, which you learned on our previous lesson. You heard how this topic is used. Uh, let me quickly show you that conversation dialogue and I'll point out the possessives in action. For example, if you notice the conversation, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? Is it yours? No, it's not mine. I'm going to go ahead and grade those possesses that I want to emphasize on. In order to understand this topic, it's important that you understand the difference between possessive adjectives and pronouns and how they are used. So I'm going to draw a little chart 
to illustrate that, as you can see on this chart, if I talk about I, I will use the possessive adjective my and mine. If I talk about you, I will need to use your and yours. If I talk about he, I will need to use his and his. If I talk about she, I will need to use her and hers. If I talk about it, I will need to use its and its. If I talk about we, I will need to use our and ours. If I talk about they, I will need to use their and theirs. The next thing to understand about this topic is when exactly you use my or mine, for example. In order to explain that, I would like for you to look at the example on the screen. These are his socks. These socks are his. We want to keep the same example. So the first rule to learn is you will use possessive adjectives whenever the object is at the end of your sentence. For example, these are his socks. The object is socks. This is your umbrella. The object is umbrella. This is her car. The object is car. And um, let me point out what I mean by object. Socks, umbrella, and car. Now, you will use possessive pronouns whenever the object is at the beginning of the sentence or not mentioned at all. Let's work with the same examples to make sure that we don't get lost. These socks are his. This umbrella is mine. This car is hers. It's mine. The object I'm going to grade out And as you can see, the object is at the beginning, not at the end, as our previous example. The last thing that I would like to explain is how we can use contractions to express possessives. As you can see on the chart, under names, Pat's blouse, Julie's jeans, Rex t-shirt. The apostrophe as means possessive. Whenever we say Pat's blouse, we are saying the blouse of Pat. However, we normally don't express the blouse of Pat. Instead, we use the contraction or the apostrophe S. Now it's your turn to give as many examples as possible. Talk about your possessions and the possessions of your friends relatives and co-workers. For example, my car is black. The black car is mine. My uh, wife's dress is blue. The 
the blue dress is hers. My co-workers computer is white. His computer is white. We feel observed there and listen also to the video and paid attention to possessive adjectives, but also possessive pronouns. Now, you saw the differences, right? They have different positions. Now, let's check here. Now, remember you have this exercise, right? Let's make this one as a practice. Let's do this exercise. It says, in the question, is this Jennifer's hat? What would be the correct, the best option, my or mine? Mine. Which one? Mine. Option, option mine. number one mine. or two? Two. Option two, okay. So can you read it complete, please? Read it complete. No, it's not. Mine. Uh -huh. no. no, it's not hers. No, it's, it's not her. It's mine. It's, it's mine. Mine, like this? My, mine. Mine. Oh, the other option. Mine. Perfect. That is correct. Mine. Look, they sound very similar, right? But the pronunciation of this one is my. And this option will be mine. Mine. Excellent. That's good. So we have this exercise. Remember, in the platform, you have the rest of the exercise. Now, let's check here. We are going to give me another example. Use possessive adjective. Let's see, Juan Antonio, give us an example use. Mm. Juan Antonio, give us an example. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Like, this is my, uh, for example, this is my tie, this is my jacket. An example, using the possessives. Mm. I don't know. This is my, what? My jacket, my sweater. This is my book. This, this is, is my, my book. book. Excellent, that's correct. And also you can say, this book is? With possessive pronoun? This, this book is uh -huh. mine. Mine. Like uh, the mine. option. Mine, like this option, right? Let me show you here like with the possessive pronoun, right? So we have two options. Hay dos opciones de utilizar un possessivo. Like, this is my book, or this book is mine. Mm. Yes, like this one, mine. That's correct, good one. All right, let's continue. Jensi, give us another example, please. I'm sorry? Not very well. No, no muy claro. Ahora. Uh -huh. Ahora. Ahora sí, ya le escucho más claro. Um, sorry. Es que no logré captar lo que dijo. A an example, just give us an example with the possessive. It can be like this, for example. If you say, eh, my house, my cell phone, my shoes. Um, my shoes. Mm -hmm. My shoes are, plural, remember shoes, plural. My shoes are uh -huh. black. Are black, yes, that is good, right? Okay, in that case we have the possessives. Now, let's check here with another topic. Now we're going to remember about the weather. Look about the seasons. We have spring. What is spring? Primavera. Excellent, that's good. Then we have winter. We have Vierno. autumn, excellent. Autumn. Vierno. 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 
Excellent, that's good. But here in El Salvador, we just have two seasons, right? What are the two seasons we have here? Summer. Summer and? Winter. And winter, right? Just that here, it doesn't snow. And winter. And winter, that's correct. Just that here, it rains, right? Here, it rains, but not these days. Okay, let's check here. Now we have another another video about this. We're going to watch about the weather. What are the seasons that we have? Hi everyone. In this class, you no problem. No problem with the video. No. No. Okay. Perfect. Thank no you. No. Perfect. Other seasons. Thank you. And you'll also listen to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's start by listening and repeating. It's spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's fall in the U.S. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Now, let's listen to the conversation, It's very cold, which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing, and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm, and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. What I would like for you to do next is to practice repeating the conversation that we just heard. This conversation will make a lot of sense for our next topic. Now, time to practice it. I'm going to practice this conversation. Okay. Before practicing, we're going to pay attention to the forms here. For example, it says, it's spring in Brazil. It's warm. What is it's warm? What is it's warm? Calido, right? No cold, no hot. So it's like a normal, normal weather. It's very sunny. It's very sunny. Now let's see here. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. Like here in El Salvador, right? Sometimes it's raining, but it's not cold, but it's so humid and very hot also. Let's see the next one. It's fall in the U.S. What is it fall? What is fall? What is that season? Fall is the same as, as autumn, uh, but in the seasons. Caer, pero como verbo, pero como un nombre. It's autumn, es otoño. Otoño. Porque refleja la caída de las hojas de las flores, right? So, for that reason. What happened is that it has to be. Un frío. Uh, no, not necessarily. That maybe depends on the country. Tal vez depende de, del país. Pero como a nosotros no se nos da esa época. So, but it's autumn, es, es otoño. Por ejemplo, en Canadá. Mi balón no fuera out. que se nos diera. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, it will be nice. So autumn is igual que fall. Es otoño. Solo hay dos maneras de, de llamarle a, a esta época. So let's continue checking here. Now it says, it's fall in the USA. It's cold. It's cloudy and windy. What is cloudy? Nublado. 
por un lado. Ajá. And windy es que hace mucho viento, right? Like windy. Now, the next one. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Está nevando, right? It's snowing. Okay, so let's continue here. Let's see. Miguel, Miguel Antonio, let's repeat. It's the spring in Brazil. It's it's a spring in Brazil. Very good. It's warm. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's very sunny. Thank you. Luz Garcia, continue. It's summer in Korea. It's summer in Korea. Korea. It's summer in Korea. Nice. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's hot and humid. Thank you. That's good. Rene, continue. It's fall in the US. It's fall in the US. 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 That's good. It's cool. It's cool. Uh -huh. It's cloudy. It's cloudy and windy. And windy. And windy. That's good. Look, here it says cool. Cool is different than cold. Because cool is como que el viento está super agradable. Right? And cold. Uh, cool. <laughs> uh -huh. So let's continue super here. Super frío. Cold. Uh -huh. When you say very cold. Pero cool is que el clima está agradable, está fresco. Está no chido. Hot. It's that really cool. That's nice. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, Veronica. Let's continue here. It's winter in Russia. It's winter in Russia. 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 <laughs> that's good. Yes, it's snowing. It is snowing. Good. It's very cold. It's very cold. Excellent. That's correct. Good one. Let's continue then. We are going to identify when you ask the question, what's the weather like? ¿Cómo está el clima? What's the weather like? And the first one, you see that it's cloudy. Ahí está nublado. It's cloudy. It's cloudy. That's correct. Good one. What about this one? What's the weather like? It's raining. It's raining. That's good. Or it's raining, right? We have two options raining. here. That's good. Now, this will be adjective. La primera opción sería un adjetivo porque este está lluvioso. Y el segundo está lloviendo. Eso significa que en ese momento está lloviendo. So, la acción se está dando en el momento. Yeah? So that it's raining. Thank it's you raining. for aclarar porque iba a preguntar precisamente They qué are very similar. Ajá, that is the difference. Esa es la diferencia. Sí. Que acá solo, solo describe, ¿verdad? It's raining, está lluvioso. But it's raining, es que en ese momento está lloviendo. Let's see the next one. It's winter. Yes, so we have, yes. It's winter. Invierno, right? Winter. So, not here, but in Canada, in the United States, right? Because now it's snowy. Right? We can also say that it's a snowy. Está, está nevado. Or also you can say, está nevando. You can say, it's snowy. Que es la descripción del clima. O también puede ser, si en el momento está nevando, then you can say, it's snowing. So you have different options, right? And also is combining here. Aquí lo está combinando también de qué es lo que está vistiendo. I'm wearing a coat. I'm wearing a coat. So this ing, este ing agregado al verbo, nos expresa que la acción se está dando en el momento. Estoy usando un abrigo. Usando, usando, sí. Ajá, correct. I'm wearing a coat. Now, what about the next one? What's the weather like? It's sunny. It's not so yellow. It's sunny. They're wearing shorts and t-shirts. Están usando shorts y camisetas. So now the subject is they, but you have a contraction of they are with the verb to be. 
they're wearing shorts. So you have M, T-shirts. Explíqueme la última mm -hmm. palabra, T-shirts. Yes, sir. T-shirts. Sí, porque lleva una T, un guión, mm. y shirt. Yes, because this one, T es el tipo de, de camiseta, el que le describíamos ayer, que es diferente a shirts. Tenemos hora. Son como las camisas formales. Exactly, it's this one. Look, this one is a shirt. Esta es una camisa formal, pero t-shirt es casual. This one is a t-shirt. That's the difference. Ok, que no, no, uh -huh. no le puse atención, pero sí, me parecía raro que parecía t-shirt. Ajá, correcto. Solo sabemos cambia porque tiene como una forma de T. So that's the shirt, pero es la, la camiseta. Es ah, va, está bien, perfecto. Uh -huh. Thank And you. Shirt. Thank you. And shirt is formal. It's a formal one. All right. So Thank you so much. You're very welcome. You're so welcome. Okay, so we can go ahead and practice the conversation. Here. We're going to read it first. Let's see. Let's start. Kevin, let's repeat it, please. It says, oh, no. Oh, no. Very good. Continue. What's the matter? What's the matter? Thank you. Continue like that. It's snowing. Thank you. Like that. Are you present? No? Loida? Hola. It's, hello? Let's repeat it, please. It's snowing. It's snowing. Good. And it's very cold. It's very cold. Good one. Thank you. Jessica Rivas, continue. Are you wearing your gloves? Are you wearing your gloves? Thank you. Sandra Marisol, no, they're at home. No, they're at home. Very good. Thank you. Continue, Veronica. Well, you're wearing your coat. Well, you're wearing your coat. That's good. Let's continue. Luz, Luz Garcia. But my coat isn't warm. But my coat is isn't, warm. Isn't warm. Isn't warm. Good. And I'm not wearing boots. And I'm not wearing boots. That's good. Okay, Catherine Rebecca. Okay. Okay. Let's take a taxi. Okay. Okay, let's get, take a taxi. That's good. Carlos Arturo. Thanks, Julie. Thanks, Julie. Excellent. That's good. Okay, we have this practice. Now we're going to continue on the next class, but I don't know if you have questions, guys. Hemos terminado hasta el punto. Let me tell you. 4.7, hasta 4.7 hemos llegado, entonces pueden ir ya avanzando en la plataforma, hasta en el caso de eh, las estaciones, ¿verdad? And remember that we finished the course on August 18. Eh, terminamos prácticamente la próxima semana con el módulo 1. Finalizaríamos clase exactamente el 18 de agosto. Any question, guys? Hello? I have a question. <laughs> tell me, tell me. Este, son cinco semanas, dijeron, ¿verdad? O cuatro. Eran cuatro. Lo que pasa es que por la vacación pensamos que iba a ser. Se alargó, pero se alargó. Ah, ok. Ajá. Es, pero sí, es que el, escuché el que, sido... bueno, leí ahí en el grupo que decía que. O sea, para terminar, que no nos atrasáramos con las actividades uh -huh. porque si no atrasaría como lo del certificado. Exacto, ajá. 
Pero sí, por... se finaliza el 18, que es esta semana que viene. Ajá, pero cuando se refieren a certificado, eso lo entregarían al finalizar cada módulo, ¿o cómo? Exacto, sí, sí, sí. Ah. Bueno, terminan un módulo y a ustedes les, les entregan su certificado. Ah, okay. Por eso es necesario que se pongan a, al día, que no se atrasen. Ah. Prácticamente saldríamos el 18 de agosto, ¿verdad? Exacto. Uh -huh. Y el módulo 2 todavía no hay fecha de inicio. Fíjense que eso sí, no nos han informado. ¿Ustedes nos informarían? Ajá, eso, siempre avisan ellos por medio del grupo. Ah, ok, ajá, uh -huh. sí, tenía esa duda. Uh -huh. Sí, porque como yes. hablaba de los certificados, ajá. Ajá, exacto, por eso les piden que, que no se atrasen en la plataforma, porque si no eso atrasa la entrega del certificado, como ellos tienen que hacer todo ese proceso. Sí, 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 llevar el valor de las notas. Bueno, Ajá, soy. muchas bueno. gracias. Thank you so much. All right, guys, then we are going to continue on the next Monday, all right? Eh, yo estoy en la 4.1, sí. Ah, ok. Pero, uh -huh. sí, yes. Yo... Ya no le entiendo nada. Quiero, co quiero copiar, quiero copiar. Ok. Sí, hasta ahorita, como les mencionaba, llegamos hasta la 4.7 en la explicación, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, sí, sí. Ah, pues sí, Ajá. voy a esperar que le explique entonces. Ah, ok, perfecto. Sí, bueno, como que ustedes, sí. si ustedes quieren, pueden no avanzar. Quiero pero, bueno, quite, no quiero que se vayan a, a estresar, ¿verdad? Oh. Lo que ustedes puedan ir sí, sí. ahí, lo que ustedes no. ya, ya comprendieron sí. y, y lo trabajaron. Yes. Okay, okay, perfect. Guys. Okay. Thank Have you. Have a happy night. Thank you so happy much. Happy night. Y esta hora la fin podemos encontrar. Sorry, sorry. Bye. Bye. Have a good night, guys. Bye. Happy weekend. Thank you. <laughs>